Esme Murphy has been able to find out some of the new restrictions that Governor Walls is likely to announce tonight to help slow the spread of the virus. What are you hearing, Esme? Well, good afternoon, Aaron. Yes, we are hearing that Governor Walls will, in fact, make that announcement at 6 o'clock tonight. We'll be carrying that live here on WCCO TV. Those restrictions begin going to effect on Friday, and they will last for four weeks. And this is the ones that we are hearing about. The new rules for bars and restaurants will be takeout only. You can still get takeout, but you can't go there and dine in or drink. Uh, they will also have a closings for gyms and fitness centers. And this is a big one for a lot of families. Youth sports will be put on hold starting on Saturday. Minnesota is in the midst of an explosion, as Aaron reported at the top of the show, hitting every part of the state in terms of these COVID numbers. And we are hearing from some Republicans that, we have, that have in the past been very critical of the governor's steps. Some are saying they wish the governor had told them earlier, even 24 hours earlier, that would have been helpful. But Republican Representative Dave Baker of Wilmer, who is a hotel owner and former restaurant owner, says while he would like to see a delay in starting these restrictions, he says it's definitely needed to preserve the health of health care workers. I'm asking that he gives us through, through Sunday night so we can actually think about this. Uh, groceries are just being um, uh, delivered and you know nobody knew this was coming. So we need a little bit more time, but we will step up. And our industry is is uh, team players, and we are a deep part of our conversation with the community, so we'll be there for him. And we also got a statement from Lifetime Fitness. We, along with our industry as a whole, continue to be grouped inappropriately with others. We have implemented some of the most robust safety protocols that exist. Again, we are being told that these fitness centers and Lifetime will be closed. Now, this is a petition started by Let Them Play Minnesota. This came up, uh, I think, just this morning, already has racked up thousands of signatures of people protesting the governor's restrictions that are expected to be implemented on youth sports. These shutdowns, though, are definitely coming. I can tell you that. And the governor made it, his case very clear last night. They are not, what they are really worried about is the impact on health care workers. And the governor explained it this way. Minnesota is not setting up field hospitals uh, in case you know, there's a huge surge of numbers. They can handle the surge in existing hospitals. They can increase their ICU bed capacity by 400 in just 72 hours. The problem is they'll have those beds they're convinced they won't have the health care workers to take care of those who are sick. Mm -hmm. Esme Murphy, those restrictions impact across the board. So thank you for that update.